Well, in all the chaos and tragedy, Dallas police are pleading for support from the community. We're hurting. Our profession is hurting. Dallas officers are hurting. We are heartbroken. There are no words to describe the atrocity that occurred to our city. All I know is that this, this must stop, this divisiveness between our police and our citizens. You see video footage after video footage of them running toward gunfire from an elevated position with no chance to protect themselves and to put themselves in harm's way to make sure citizens can get to a place of security. So please join me in applauding these brave men and women who do this job under great scrutiny, under great vulnerability, who literally risk their lives to protect our democracy. We don't feel much support most days. Let's not make today most days. Please, we need your support to be able to protect you from men like these who carried out this tragic, tragic event. Former NYPD Commissioner Howard Safer goes on the record. Good evening, Commissioner. Um, and, uh, you know, this is, uh, it's hard to even describe tonight and last night, but when you hear the Chief of Police say, we are hurting, we don't feel much support most days, uh, you know, it becomes ever so more painful what's going on there. Your thoughts tonight, sir? It's a horrible tragedy. The first thing I want to do is express my condolences and prayers to the families of those officers killed and wounded. Uh, as the chief said, they're not getting much support. And part of the problem here and part of the motivation, I believe, from Micah Johnson is the fact that from the president on down, people have been talking about people of color are at risk from the police. And that could not be further from the truth. We've had some incidents like the one in Baton Rouge, like the one in uh, Minnesota, and they're going to be adjudicated. But to broad brush the entire police forces across the country is outrageous. Well, let me read from you because that's the, I keep bringing this up, and I'm going to bring it up throughout the whole show, is Black Lives Matter issued a statement, and in part it says about the shooting of the cops last night, to assign the actions of one person, that would be that killer, Johnson, to an entire movement is dangerous and irresponsible. But that's exactly what's happening to the police. Every time a police officer does, you know, one, one police officer does something bad, all of a sudden there's people who are complaining that it's all police officers, and it is not all police officers. But the very thing this Black Lives Statement says tonight is something everyone should be paying attention to. Do you agree? Absolutely. If black lives really mattered to Black Lives Matter, they would look at who are killing 95 percent of black men in America. And it's not police officers. It's other black men. So, you know, it's a ridiculous movement. All lives certainly matter. And what we need to do is stop this war on police. We need to start appreciating what police do to protect us. I did 30 town hall meetings when I was police commissioner in communities of color. And it was very rare that I heard anything about brutality. What I heard about was send us more cops to protect us from criminals. And uh, I should note that we are now looking at live, these are live pictures. This is an honor guard for one of the fallen officers um, uh, in Dallas. Commissioner, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Good to be with you.